Welcome, Sagittarius. Oh, wow. Hello. You got the will of fortune. Ooh, change is coming in. We do have that Dawn of Wands, though, in the reverse. Something feels stuck. There's maybe some conflict here. Maybe an undesirable message or information you came across or someone. Yeah. Oh, metamorphosis, profound change. So you have changed twice. You're elevating. This is huge. This is big. Okay, let's see. Let's see what's going on. Something's uplifting. You're having a huge awakening here of some sort. What a beautiful change. Ooh, walking away, emotionally detaching. Okay, someone is maybe being stagnant here. Ten of Wands, something feels very heavy. Something needs to be released. Something needs to be sacrificed. Seven of Cups, a lot of confusion, setbacks, delays. This person is thinking of you as the Queen of Swords and they're thinking about the Queen of, I feel like they're probably embodying the Queen of Swords because something's closing. So this person may be very upset um, or feeling like they're starting to get clear that something may be ending or a chapter is closing. We have the Queen of Cups and the Fool. So new beginnings. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're leaving somebody. It could be some like a chapter that is being closed to start a new chapter. Like kind of going into the next level of a connection. That could be for some of you. But it does feel like somebody's getting clear that something is closing here. Okay, are you maybe closing out a chapter here? Now, with the Seven of Wands, there's a feeling of needing to protect yourself and set your boundaries, okay? Because it does look like there is movement, there is progress, there is victory, there is acknowledgement here too with the Six of Wands. And in the outcome, it is showing a new beginning and having, you know, the, the Fool is all about a fresh new start. And with the Queen of Cups, could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces for some, not all, but it's just more of an emotional card. This is someone who is very intuitive, um, like a healer type. Their, their strength is empathy. Their strength is their intelligence, their love, their care, their genuine, pure heart. I mean, that's what that represents. So I feel there's like a need of stability, but there is also change and the divine is bringing in change. There's a big turning point that is releasing you. It's like... Um, I don't know, it's just uplifting you in some way. So let's go ahead and get into it. So we have the Knight of Pentacles here, Sag. Knight of Swords. Someone is definitely in their head with the Knight of Swords. They could be moving quickly, are very impulsive, are like very unpredictable, but this person is really stressing out here. It could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius for some. Um, we also have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. I feel like they're maybe running a bit scared. What's this Knight of Swords? Hmm. let's see i don't know the nine of swords is upright there could be like feeling competitive i feel like you're you're knowing that there needs to be stability i feel like you're very disappointed with an with um with a connection or with an opportunity here with that five of swords i'm sorry five of cups this is feeling sad maybe a breakup maybe a disconnect again ten of pentacles could have been a marriage a commitment of some sort three of cups could be other energies involved maybe um a cheating situation what's the seven of cups four of pentacles holding back or holding on really are make, making no moves in the past or feeling like things are very confusing like you just maybe held back eight of pentacles is saying that there is there's no progress or effort being put in as of yet we do have the seven of swords this could be lying cheating deception affairs we have the lovers something that caused a disconnect within a connection wow and now we have the two of pentacles. Should I close? Should I should I stay or should I go? It's just feeling an unbalanced. Queen of Wands. Nine of Pentacles. I feel a lot of you guys may be 
coming out of a relationship here or coming out of a connection and more going in your independent ways. I feel you're pretty much whole within yourself, okay? It does feel like you are going towards the full energy um, after a, time, a period of healing, a period of struggle. Yep, into hermit mode. I feel you're jumping right into more of soul searching, more of grounding and stabilizing yourself. I feel like you're more focusing on you here, okay? I feel like either way, with or without someone, you're coming in very independent, okay? And that, that, that that's beautiful to have. And I feel like this person is very much worried. They're in their head. They're a bit impulsive right now. And I feel because there's just like a lot, like a strong connection here because they do look at the lovers in the reverse as a very strong soul tie. And with that seven of swords, it's just like could have been some sneaking around or something like that. And now they're just like, do we close out this chapter or not? Or is it closing or not, right? And um, I do feel like the Hermit is more of soul searching. This is more of you going within and, and finding the light within you. It's you're, the, the energy I feel is like you're wise enough to take a leap, to make, a, to make risk, which feels like maybe a risk for a lot of you, but, but it's saying you have all the answers. You're wise. You have overcame a lot of obstacles. You went through a lot of things. You've seen a lot of things. And now it's like, okay, it's like trusting yourself. Do I take this leap of faith with or without this person or just in general with something? Okay. So it's very beautiful, the energy and the outcome, because the hermit is sitting, you're very wise. You're like a, uh, like you have a, a lot of knowledge, a lot of spiritual knowledge, and a lot to give to the world by your experience. So um, let's go ahead and see what spirit wants, what advice spirit wants you to have. Now, with the profound change, I'm so excited about that because it's all about positive. Um, yeah, as I say that, positive there is a reason for hope, okay? It brings so much turning points within your life and with others, so it's awesome. Lots of awesome change. The best way to fight evil is by making progress in the good. Retreat, timing is everything. Divine timing's at play here, guys, okay? divine timings at play you have a tendency to want what you can't have this is getting in the way of new things coming in and try to understand the other point of view okay now let's see the silent heart i kind of want to get into this see what comes up i'm gonna pick a couple cards from here rose colored glasses coming through I have unwittingly sabotaged our connection. I didn't mean what I said. That's where I'm feeling like that impulsive, like somebody was just frustrated or said something, did something impulsive here. Very quick energy. Let's see. Please don't move on. See, they're feeling that world closing repetitive cycles but something keeps repeating something keeps going around in circles right and so wow whoa i want to work things out they do they want to work things out i wish i could take it back i miss you I'm ready to take a leap of faith and risk it all for you. My heart is opening and I'm ready. I don't know why I'm getting emotional. Oh my gosh, Saj. This is, this is a tough situation. Man. Okay. Let's see what Spirit wants you to do. Let's grab the Moonology cards. People use these cards for different things. I use, I feel why I use them is for spirit to guide you more, okay? Because I, 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 I love how um, the cards come up. It's, it's, it's basically so just more advice, right? More advice from spirit, more connection with spirit. And again, take what resonates with these. It, it's just, um, I enjoy the advice parts for sure. I think they're beautiful.
full moon in Virgo, take inspired action. Be proud of yourself. Spirit wants you to be proud of yourself and take inspired action, okay? Last quarter moon in Taurus and push through any insecurities. First quarter moon in Cancer. This is so beautiful. Your energy is so connected. Like, and then there's an awakening coming in. Like, wow. All right, let's see. Let's get a love message. Manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Then we have close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Okay. All right, guys. Oh, I'm going to leave that right here. I'm going to go ahead and leave it right here for you. If you do like this message or if it helped or resonate in any way, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys very soon. God bless.